thrower hug. <laughs> Y'all good? Hey guys, how y'all? Good. Good. How are you? Great. Good. So, can we lead off? You want me to lead off? Whatever you want to do. Well, I, let me lead. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take this off and talk to y'all, okay? Uh, first of all, it's a, it's really a gratifying day for me to be able to come by and be here. You know, I go back to not very long ago, but uh, last February seems like forever ago, but it's really not very long ago, just a few months. Uh, in I guess reasonably early February, we were notified at the governor's office that the hospital was closed. And I think I got that notification on, I don't know, the 16th or something of February. And maybe the 20th or the 18th, I came up and I sat in a room, probably with some of these people that are here right here. And, and we talked about options and what could be done. You know, when it, when it really boils right down to it, we have to have our community hospitals if I remember correctly, this is the only hospital in Marion County at the time. Is that correct? It is correct. You know, it still is. And, and so for the, for the people of Fairmont, which is our seventh largest city in the state of West Virginia, to not have a hospital was just like the end of the whole world, in my opinion. So we went to work. We went to work, and we went to work almost immediately with WVU. Now, to just tell it like it is and everything, for them this was a heavy lift because both of us knew all the obstacles and everything that we we're going to have to go through. You know, we have hopes of a new hospital and all this kind of stuff and it's right around the corner and in the days and years to come, but we had jobs here and we had people here and we had people that were wanting to come to this hospital because it was close and all those different things. So really and truly from that point forward, the great WBU people, and I mean that by great, I mean, you know, Albert Wright and, and Gordon Gee and the whole team really, really stepped up. Now when all this started, COVID wasn't just thrown right in our laps. It was close, but it wasn't really here right yet. And so when all this was going on, we were trying to save the hospital for the people of the area and everything. Now just think about the timeline. From then until June the 30th, they were up and going. And through that whole timeline, it was COVID, COVID, COVID. And so this hospital became like a backstop and a lot, a lot of good stuff for her. So, uh, and, and I think, from what I've heard, you know, I think things are going well, maybe even exceeding expectations. And as we exceed expectations, we're just going to be able to do more and employ more and give more and more services or whatever it may be, because it's just, it's just 
that's what we do. So, so I'll turn it over to Albert and, and I'll I'll quit talking for a second. But but it's a really I mean, it's a proud moment for me, a real gratifying moment because I know what this could have been. I mean, this could have been gone. And if it was gone, not only are these great people here, maybe without a job, but besides that, there's people all or over this place here that don't have a place to go. Or maybe they have a place to go, but it's a long ways away. And so it's good stuff to me, really good stuff. Our community hospitals are a backbone, and that's all there is to it. Albert, I'm sorry. Well, good one. Thank you, Governor Justice. Thank you for everyone for being here today. It is appropriate that it's such a beautiful day out today, and it is exceptionally gratifying to be here. You know, um, when we found out in early to mid-February that this hospital is going to be closing down, Governor Justice called Dr. D and I and met with us down in Charleston at the mansion immediately and said we have to figure out what we're going to do in Fairmont long term. And we had always had some thoughts about building out at the Gateway Connector and different things, and we said we're, we'll commit to that and we'll do that. A few days later, Governor Justice came up and met with some of the employees as this hospital was winding down. And he then got back on the phone immediately and said to Dr. Gee and I, come back to Charleston. We came back down. He said, guys, I love your long-term plans, but we need to do something in Marion County right now and reopen this hospital. He said, I'm going to be an exceptional partner to help you do that, anything you need from me. So I can honestly say, if it wasn't for Governor Justice, we would not be here today. So I, you know, I, I think we all owe him a debt of gratitude. This is a fabulous hospital historically. We're building it back up. It's it's fun to be here when you when you tour. There's an energy to the place. We've got employees here that used to work at the old Fairmont Hospital that are now working here at WV Medicine. We've got employees that have been long time. Uh, WVU Medicine employees from Bridgeport and, and Mar uh, Bridgeport and Morgantown that have transferred down here. A lot of them live in Fairmont. Some of them used to work here and had gone to WVU. Then we got new members to the family. You know, we reopened the ED. Uh, we had a patient in the emergency department within the first hour. We opened it on June 30th. And I should also point out that all during COVID, because it's interesting, it was March 13th that Governor Justice and Dr. Gee and I and others were over at our Gateway Connector facility right about when COVID hit, saying, hey, what our plans are. And once COVID started, the world changed, as we all know. And, you know, Governor Justice called me and said, we're still all in on Fairmont, right, Albert? And I said, absolutely. And we kept checking in and we stayed committed to it. You know, we opened back up on June 30th. We saw our first patient within a couple hours. We're seeing somewhere in the 40 patients a day here in the emergency department. Um, we're doing heroic things. We've now got 10 beds open upstairs with a few patients each day. We've renovated more beds here and we're gonna be opening more beds soon. We just put in a certificate of need exemption to reopen the MRI. So we're gonna to start to do all of our imaging here. We're gonna to start to do walk-in labs here. So you'll see us build this up and build this up. So this is, a, and as Governor Justice said, it's unacceptable for us to not have a hospital in Marion County. So I'm proud to be here. I'm thankful for how hard the governor pushed us to make this happen. And uh, and I think we've got a bright future here in Fairmont. I, I, I you know, lots and lots of gratitude to WVU as well. I mean, really and truly, when it really rolls, rolls right down to it, they've been they've been a great partner throughout our state in lots and lots of different places. But uh, I tell all of y'all the same thing. You know, uh, this story could have ended very, very badly. And not only would it have ended badly for you guys, but it would have ended badly for the community in, in many ways. Like I said, our hospitals, our community hospitals are our, our, our network. I mean, they're the heart of our community in so many different ways. Not only are they giant employers and all that and servicers of all of our people, but they're in, incredible contributors to our economy and all the things from little league teams to right on down the line. Now, so it could have ended badly. I really tried with all my heart to have it not in bad. 
and really and truly did it end absolutely what everybody's perfect dream would have been? Probably not. But it is ending what everybody's perfect dream will end up being because you guys and Albert and WBU and all the community and all the support, it's, it's, this place is really going and that's really, really good, really good. Great stuff. So I, I applaud all of you and you know, one thing I am, I am a, I am a bulldog, you know, about, about getting something done. And, and I, and in this situation, I had to, I had to probably push a little hard, but, but at the same time, you know, we got there. We yeah. really got there. Well, you know, let me, let me compliment the governor one more time is, you know, we, he did have to push us a little bit hard. And, and I've always had a good relationship with the governor and known him, but I got to work very closely in an intimate fashion and see his true passion for West Virginia and every corner of West Virginia. And he was adamant on this project and he was right uh, on this project. So, um, you know, that, it, it made me really proud. It's a good day. Good, good day. But all I can do is clap for you. Way to go, everybody. I'm proud of you. Proud of you in every way. We can clap louder than that, guys. Come on. <laughs> Clap for yourself. Okay, we're done. Y'all go go do some great work or something. They <laughs> want a picture with you. Okay, all right. You're standing out in the sun. Are we allowed to ask you any questions? Sure. sure. Um, we can we get a little closer so we can have our mics out? Sure. Here? I, yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna run over here and get my picture. Yeah, no, I'll that's fine. Right back, then I'll okay? up. Perfect. Whoa. We have somebody who's